So they needed anybody who could go out and put on the costumes and do the advance work. So you would travel one city ahead of the tour uh, and do, do promotion. They were doing a show in Texas, but we were going to go into Mexico and Juarez to promote it. Uh, back when you could still go to Juarez, Mexico. And we did an appearance at like this little tiny pizza place and 2,000 people showed up. There were thousands of kids there. And I, I don't know if this is the case or not, but it seemed to us that the reason there were thousands of kids there was because none of these kids could afford to come see the show, but they could afford to go to this ice cream store and see the turtles. And, it, and there was no crowd control, there was no cops. It was just like this sea of people. And so we went up on the roof of this thing and it was like, it was like Saigon. Like, it, you know, like we, we were up on the roof in these turtle outfits as like just like a sea of Mexican children. We're just, and we, we had pizza to throw down at them and t-shirts. And I'll never forget looking through this turtle mask at this, these thousands of kids just masked outside this store cheering and waving and you know, we're dancing and it was kind of a profound moment because it, 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 not, it, it brought home sort of not only the phenomenon of the turtles, but there was also something sort of larger and sadder about the state of our world in seeing all these like poor kids who were just as caught up as their American counterparts in this thing, but had no access to it in the way that their American counterparts did. And it was, it was, it was kind of a bummer, but the ice cream was good.